Well, I'm still messing about with the MOSFET case temperature. I did end up splurging a bit on a test heat sink. I got this Noctua NHU 12S Redux. It does not have directly exposed heat pipes and that will serve me much better in the long run. Hot melt glue didn't work too well for spring pressure on the thermocouple. So I put some small heat shrink tubing around the end of the thermocouple, basically giving some strength and bounce to the exposed leads. Cutting away the tubing to expose just a bit of the end of the bead. Holes are drilled and tapped to mount it to the bracket on the heat sink and for the mounting of the MOSFET. I use the springs that came with the heat sink with some longer screws to mount the copper plate. The thermocouple sticks up a bit from the surface of the copper, but it is quite springy. I think that will get the job done. I'll tighten up the screws so that the springs are compressed about the same on both sides. Again, I'm mounting the MOSFET with the thermocouple contacting the lower center part of the case, where I think the die would be. Even though I believe the aluminum mounting bar would be springy enough, I decided to use some springs on the mounting screws as well. There are two main electrical changes since my last testing. I now have a real current shunt, so it's pretty temperature stable now. And the air voltage to the MOSFET is now generated digitally. This is the 100 watt test. The heat sink is doing a really good job. The drain lead right at the MOSFET case is about 2 degrees centigrade hotter than the case. So temperature difference drain lead to ambient a little under 24 degrees centigrade. That puts this heat sink very close to that deep cool Game Max 400. It was like 27 degree difference drain lead to ambient. That was before I damaged it, of course. This Noctura heatsink is a little smaller and twice the price of that Game Max 400. Here it is running at 150 watts. Thermal resistance of the heatsink drops just a bit as the temperature goes up. and about a 3 degree centigrade difference drain lead to case. Now I want to double check and make sure the thermocouple still has some spring to it. Yep, still sticking up a bit with some spring to it. So I think I have some good temperature readings now. Now I have the same MOSFET on the old G5 heatsink and have it running at 100 watts. About 26 degrees drain lead to ambient. I was expecting it to be lower than the Noctua heatsink. Instead, it's two degrees worse. The G5 heatsink is bigger and has more air flowing through it. It has bigger heat pipes than the Noctua, but in total length of heat pipe, the Noctua has probably close to twice as much. I'm going to have to do a test with one of the big MOSFETs, that's for sure.
but now I'm really doubting one of these old G5 heatsinks will handle the 300 watts I need it to. At least I feel like I have some accurate temperature readings now. But I won't know for sure until I throw 300 watts at the old G5 heatsinks. Thank you for watching.